Mummies made in Egypt. Written and illustrated by Aliki. Read by Corinne Orr. Ancient Egypt was a long, narrow country, divided in half by the Nile River. The land beyond was desert. There, the ancient Egyptians buried their dead. The ancient Egyptians had one great wish. That wish was to live forever. Egyptians believed that after they died, a new life began. They would live in their tombs as they lived on Earth. In order for a person to live forever, the body had to be preserved or mummified. A mummy is a corpse that has been dried out, so it will not decay. The earliest Egyptians were mummified naturally. The corpse was buried in the ground. The hot, dry sand of Egypt dried out the body. But as time went on and burials became more elaborate, people learned how to embalm or mummify their dead. Embalmers became so expert that the mummies they made remained preserved for thousands of years. Mummification was a long, complicated and expensive process. It took 70 days for embalmers to prepare a body. First they took out the organs. They started with the brain. Then the inner organs were removed. The body cavity was stuffed with bundles of a chemical called natron. Then the whole body was covered with natron and the corpse was placed on a slanted embalming bed with a groove at the bottom. Fluids from the corpse dripped into a container. Natron dried the body out the same way the sand had. After 40 days, the natron packs were removed. The dried, shrunken body was sponge clean and brushed with oils, ointments, spices, and resin. The arms were crossed and the mummy's fingernails and toenails were covered with caps of gold. The mummy was adorned with jewels of gold and precious stones. Then the body was carefully bound with long, narrow strips of linen. Fingers, toes, arms and legs were wrapped individually. Every few layers were glued together with resin. After 20 layers, the mummy's body took on its normal size. The bound head was covered with a portrait mask. The mask, too, was bound. Then the whole package was wrapped in a shroud and given a last coat of resin. The mummy was finished. Meanwhile, skilled artists, sculptors, and carpenters prepared for the burial. They made the coffin, or a nest of coffins like these, for the mummy. The coffins were painted inside and out with gods, goddesses, and magic spells of protection. A splendid sarcophagus, or stone box, was made to hold the mummy's coffin. The walls of the royal tombs were carved and painted with scenes from Egyptian life. A long, solemn funeral procession took the mummy to the tomb. As years went by, tombs became bigger, stronger, and more elaborate. Pharaohs, or Egyptian kings, had pyramids built for themselves. Pyramids were huge stone monuments. They were magnificently carved and painted. When the funeral procession came to rest at the tomb, the mummy was put into the sarcophagus, which was covered with a heavy stone lid. The entrance to the tomb was sealed up with a wall of stone slabs. At last, the mummy was in its eternal resting place. <laughs>